at the Anise Gallery in Chad Thames with Rachel Arda. Got it right this time. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rachel is part of a group show called Controlled Realities. Yeah, so um, Rachel's piece, This Much I'm Worth, is one of the pieces in the show. It's an epic piece, and I've, I've been talking about this particular piece for a very long time since her prototype. Uh, last year, which she won the uh, Aesthetica Prize for, which is, yeah, anyway, I'm going to let Rachel talk about it. And you also <coughs> helped me shift some of the um, metal in the studio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, tell us about the piece, Rachel. But it's very big. It's about four metres by um, one and a half metres, or a bit more than that, and it's nearly half a tonne. So, basically, it's a massive version of the prototype. So, really, what I'm doing is playing up to the artist's establishment desire. Um, to create bigger things and for a spectacle, which I think in a sense is done. I mean, I keep looking at it now and I just don't know how I did it. So, uh, <laughs> I know how you did it, it. I witnessed you so doing it. It was, a, it was a monumental project <laughs> and I literally made everything and designed everything um, apart from the neon. I got a lovely neon lady to uh, blow for me. So it actually it was totally made by um, menopausal women over 50. I'm sure she wouldn't like that. But yes. <laughs> So totally made by women, and I think that was part of the project to um, see how difficult it was to source women with the right experience, which I couldn't do. So I had to end up doing the electronics and electrics myself. Yeah. And can you just explain exactly what it is that it does? It evaluates how much it's worth. Um, so basically, I've got very complex algorithms that run on the internet every night, and they um, do data mining, look at gender, sexuality, social media mentions and stuff like that to evaluate how much this piece is worth, posts the value on the internet of things. So basically this massive construction, all it does is actually pick up the wrong value. So if someone actually acquired this, they would never own the value, they would just own the actual thing. Um, and then within the gallery, um, the value will fluctuate a few percent to create some sort of entertainment if people like things that move. Um, also if you tweet, the value will change instantly. So. There you go. Yeah. And what's the significance of the of the this value thing in terms of because I know you design the thing yourself. You design the algorithms yourself. First. Well, all, all we're saying is we never have no how people are portion value, and it's usually a complete load of bullets in a sense, and it's usually it's usually quite biased. Mm. It's usually sort of like I mean it's like you know how's the stock exchange evaluated? How is value put in property? How is value put in women? Do you see what I mean? And then it's sort of questioning all that. And no matter how much we know, there's no formula for it. It's always something derived by people who have other interests at stake. So it's the concept that's important, not necessarily that the algorithms work, because yeah. they never will work. One of the things that I find really interesting is, <clears throat> firstly, that it's all women that made the piece. And secondly, I kind of feel like it's uh, there is a commentary on how women are valued as opposed to how men are valued in the art world. Is that true? Oh, yeah, no, that, that's exactly true. I mean, there's two things that, I mean, I've used neon to sort of refer to the sex trade and how values are placed on women, women are trade, often traded. I mean, I was doing some data scraping in the Royal Academy and places like that, and women's work is worth so much less. Mm. So, yes, we're completely undervalued in the art world. Yeah. So yes, it is referring to that as well, and I think the price would be a lot higher if I was a man, because it is taking into account I'm a woman of yeah. a certain age. So how much, going by the research that you've done, how much more would it oh, be worth? at least more than double. More than double? Yes. But again, it's about provenance, you know, as well, and the background, what art schools you've been to, your contacts, and where you stand in the art world, and I think, you know, for women, there is a glass ceiling, mm. there's always an exception, but yes. Yeah. And do you, can, can you see things changing for women in the art world? Oh, yes, they are, yes, they are changing slowly, but I mean, nothing's ever changing fast enough. It's like equal pay. I mean, we're still way behind. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, in, in IT, I think the industry is actually getting worse for women because we've got this sort of geek male culture now. And because people are getting paid well, you get this disappearance of women. So, yeah. Yeah. And lastly, how much is this worth now? At the moment, 38. 38,569, but if you tweet, it will go up. It will go up, okay. And um, by how much does it go up by when you tweet? It's random. Random, okay. And so if that was it, if you were a man, this would be worth Well, probably more than 80, yes, yes. more like but 90. It, it, I mean, it's a bit more complicated than that, yes, mm. but yeah. I'm sure there would be a difference, yes. Okay. 
Perfect. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. And the show is on until the, the 23rd. 23rd, because it's been extended. It was the 15th, but, so popular, it's, yeah. but it's been extended because it's so popular. Brilliant. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. Thank you, thank you again. Thank you. <laughs>